Hello. I am Count Solomon. Welcome to my humble castle. <laughs> Stay back! Oh, it doesn't bother me now. I'm Jewish. <gasps> All right, so our version was more hammy than hammer, but we weren't that far off the mark. <laughs> The Hammer movies were entirely of their time, cult classics, so how will hardcore horror fans respond to the news that they're about to become undead? My idea of the original horror classic, but... Oh, yeah. The original Hammer classics were campy, trashy. They were about suave Victorian gentlemen getting their teeth into comely, heaving, pale virgin British flesh. I don't know if they're still relevant today. I hope that the, the new Hammers plug into that campy feel because the American films have been about much more gore and slashy. The British Hammer should be about being suave. Mmm, typo, my favorite. He's a type, but we've managed to get a sneak preview of the new movie, Beyond the Rave. Ah! Crikey, that's Hammer and Tongs Hammer, that is. But there's another way it's bang up to date. And they wanted to do it in a different way, so they decided to do this project as an online serial, more for, towards the, my, aimed for towards the my, MySpace generation. But at the witching hour, whilst filming one of the final scenes, things looked more classically Hammer. That might look like a warming cup of coffee, but it's blood. At the end of the day, there's only sort of one way you can chop off a head or something. You know, there's, you know, there's, a, there's the sort of gory bits are going to be, you know, kind of relate to how it was and in, in, in the way Hammer used to do it. But I don't think it's as kind of over the top. The first episode will be online at Halloween. But for all you bloodsuckers out there, here's something to get your teeth into in the meantime.